How's it going everyone? Yours truly here back again with Lucas Craig's on the Epic Series. Welcome back to the show. So Lucas, please fill the audience in with your life update and life in hockey since you were here last summer. Yeah, I uh, went through my junior year at Bowling Green and uh, we did really well. We came up just short in our conference uh, championship game. Then we made the NCAA tournament for the first time in many years, so that was cool for our school. Awesome, congratulations. Now let's go into our workout today. I know this is very interactive involving speed agility quickness training with cones, hurdles, and ladders. Please explain um, this thought process that was going through your head doing the ladder drills when I had to verbally call out a signal where you have to react to it and then catch a tennis ball at the very end. Yeah, it just uh, it makes you think and make your body move in different ways than you're used to. And you really gotta put those two together and make it work and it's something you don't get to do every day so it's, uh, it's challenging. Awesome, now when you're training in college, I noticed you probably did a lot of basic footwork drills and so forth, but from what I understand what was different about today's workout, it was interactive, so it's more reactive. How was that difficult compared to just going through the motions, going through regular footwork? Yeah, sometimes during the, the school year or the hockey year, you get uh, pretty pretty overrun with what you're doing as it just did the same stuff over and over. So when I come to G for G, it's something new every day. And, uh, it's pretty challenging at first until you get the hang of it. It's, it's something new. Speaking of something new, you've also put on some new equipment that focuses on balance and stability, incorporating the sand dune. And I noticed you were catching tennis balls with your hand, focus on hand-eye coordination, and doing some reaching exercises that involve rotation and lower back flexibility as well as hamstring, uh, hamstring flexibility. Please explain to the audience your thoughts doing those exercises. Yeah, once again, it's something you don't, you don't do every day, so um, you know you just got to adjust to it. And it's obviously challenging because it's obviously new, and you don't think it's going to be that hard. But once you get on there, it's a uh, little do you. Yeah. And how does this workout in particular that we did today transfer over to your performance on ice? Yeah, so it's all hand-eye and agility stuff, so it's quick and reactive, and that's, uh, it crosses over it in practice or even the game, just uh, where, you're, where you're going. And the main message of today's workout, what is the one thing that you took from today after going through a grueling interactive speed agility quickness training workout and balance and stability workout? Yeah, challenges your body differently, so it'll uh, get different muscle groups, and it'll, it'll really uh, work here good. Well, there you go. You heard from Lucas Craig himself. Challenge your body. Until then, have a great day. We'll see you next time.